Do you want to turn your manga from this into this, but you're like me and you're extremely lazy and untalented? You've come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use this AI tool to color any manga page in under 10 minutes. Now, full disclaimer, I actually made this tool myself, but it is completely free to use. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is find a page of manga to color. Now, the model tends to perform better on manga that have art styles with cleaner lines and more anime-like styles. However, you still can get good results on more complex art. For this demo, I just searched up Hunter Hunter panels and I just chose the first one that I found. Next, go to the website of the tool, which is tuna.io slash playground and you're gonna wanna click on the colorize tab. Once you're here, you can upload the manga page that you just downloaded. It might look slightly lower quality, but don't worry, we're gonna upscale this back later. Now, if we just hit colorize by default, the model will try to guess the colors. And sometimes it can actually look kind of good, but if you want more control, you're gonna wanna click on add color hints. This is gonna allow you to place points on the canvas to control how the manga page gets colored. To choose what colors to add, it's best to find some references of the characters that you're trying to color. I kind of cheated since this scene was already in the anime for Hunter x Hunter, I just grabbed the colors from that scene. I'm actually working on a feature as well where you can have the image pulled up to use as reference, but for now you can use this Chrome extension called Eyedropper. The only thing though is I noticed it kind of glitches when you try to select colors from video, so the first time I ran it through, the colors were super washed out, so try to pull up your references through images. The second time I ran it through, the results were much better, but I noticed that in some areas the colors were bleeding a bit, so I decided to add a few more points and also tweak the colors in some areas. Now at a certain point there will still be some bleeding, but the model sort of stops taking in the hints, but this is honestly like 90% of the way there. Next thing we're going to do is go to the upscale page at tuna.io slash upscaler and upload the colorized image and the original image. Now you're going to want to upscale both of these images and bring them into your favorite photo editing software. You can use Photoshop, Critia, Gimp, Ibis Paint, pretty much any one of these should work. Now, once you have your project set up, you're going to want to import your black and white image on top of your colored image. And then you're going to set the blending mode of the black and white image to multiply. This is going to allow for the lines on the original image to be preserved so that you don't color on top of them and ruin the original page. Select the brush tool and set the hardness to zero so that we can airbrush some touch-ups onto the manga page. You can again use the eyedropper tool here in your software to sample colors so that you're getting a consistent coloring. And you can also use the cross-hashing from the original manga page as a reference in figuring out where to do shading. For shading, I typically just make the color slightly darker and then color in those areas. Another thing that you can do is you can select the magic wand tool or the equivalent in whatever software that you're using to make a selection. And then you can color inside of that selection without having to worry about going over the lines. Now, Using this method, you're not going to make the next Mona Lisa, but I think the result is good enough, especially considering how it takes a fraction of the time. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually the creator of this tool, so if you guys have any questions, feedback, or any features that you want to see, feel free to leave it in the comments or join our Discord, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye.